what's up what's up what's up your morning your hello your sleeping your better wake up <laughs> yakune today i remember to speak far welcome back to delicia life and travel welcome back to delicia tv atl all things liberian if you are a returning subscriber i just want to say thank you for the support always and if it is your first time here i just want to say welcome and please feel free to be a part of this great family your support is very much appreciated thank you A question about our sewage system popped in my head when I recently visited Central Monrovia and saw raw sewage spilling from choked sewers. I asked myself what extent and how damaged is the original system that was set up to handle the city's sewage. After making few inquiries, I was told that an off-site piped sewage system, which was constructed in Monrovia in the 1950s and 60s, covered an area of approximately 27 square kilometers in central Monrovia, Sinco, Old Road, and Bushward Island. In the original design, sewage from these areas was transmitted through a total of 64 kilometers of pipes to the Fiamma sewage treatment plant located in Sinker, which had a capacity of 6 million gallons per day. Decades of neglect during and after the Civil War have destroyed most of the piped sewage system of Monrovia, including all pumping stations and even this Fiamma treatment plant. In some areas, in particular sinker, gravity-driven sewage pipes are still operational, carrying waste water to the dysfunctional Fiamma treatment plant, from which it is then discharged into the Mesorado River through a slush lagoon. LWSC still provides some trucking services to collect fecal slush which is similarly disposed of at Fiamma without treatment. The original design of the plant consisted of intake, screen and grid chambers, low lift pumping and primary settling basins, trickling filters and secondary settling tank, two slush digesters and slush lagoons. This plant has not been operating since the late 1980s. It stopped operating when electricity supply failed and water production collapsed. At present, the small amounts of sewage arriving via tankers or through remaining gravity pipes in the sinker area is diverted at the intake towards the slush lagoons and discharged into the densely vegetated branch of the Mesorado River.